Honoured and distinguished guests and young brothers, good afternoon. I'm absolutely humbled and delighted to be here with our close-knit community, friends, close friends. Alhamdulillah, what can I say? I am so proud of the community for inviting me here to participate in this such a humble and blessed day. Never in a million years did I ever, ever envisage I would be the mayor of Oldham. Okay? My history, most of you, the older generation will know that my family have been at the heart of the community since the mid-60s. Okay? My parents opened one of the first Asian grocery shops in Oldham in 1966. So since then, my father, my uncles, my relatives have been part and parcel of the community. In the mid-70s, they bought a house and they donated it to the local community so the community could use it as a place of worship until the community got enough funds to buy their own masjid, 1976-77. So we've been at the heart of the community. And Alhamdulillah, this is what we want to try to encourage to the younger generation. Some of you will see in my social media videos where I keep saying this word inspire to aspire inspire to aspire okay what do I mean by that what I mean by this is, is we need to encourage the younger generation to take that step forward but we need the older generation to encourage them to take that step forward okay I was a typical corner grocery shop person somebody inspired me I went to university at the age of 30, graduated in information technology, then got a job for life in computers, in IT. Okay, So somebody gave me that push. So this is what I'm trying to do for this local community of Oldham and our brothers here, is to encourage the younger generation and the older generation to inspire, to aspire. Give them the opportunity. Okay, If we don't, people from another country won't come and give our younger generation the opportunity. So we need to inspire our younger generation to take that step that the older generation needs to help. And one way is, is establishments like this. We need to encourage religious establishments like this to encourage the, the youth of this day to study Islam but in a way that the youth understand. We need to encourage the older generation, us, we need to encourage them to look at new ways of delivering, new ways of delivering knowledge to the younger generation. Otherwise, we will lose our younger generation. Okay? Maybe bring some technology into it, because technology is the way forward. So we are going to have this discussion. Hopefully, inshallah, before before the new year, I'm trying to facilitate a meeting with all the mosques of Oldham. We're going to arrange. We're going to call the imams. But besides that, the people who, 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 who hold the key to, to the, to the mustards is the secretaries and the chairmen. So I'm trying to facilitate this. I'm looking for a venue that can hold a couple of hundred people. And then I'm trying to facilitate this. If, the, if one thing I can do you know, as part of my morality is to encourage the, you know, the, the, the uh, religious establishments to take that positive step forward and look after our youth by encouraging them you know, to inspiring them to take that step forward. But how do we do that? We need to learn, we need to look at the, 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 the aspect of the, the teaching tool, the, the method we use, and we need to update that so that we can, we can encourage and we can, we can tap into the youth of these days, okay? So I just want to make it very, very short and sweet. But Alhamdulillah, I'm absolutely proud that we have such a huge gathering here today, and let's make this a successful uh, event. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. MashaAllah. JazakAllah khair, uh, the mayor of Oldham for his wonderful, inspiring story of himself. It's a very uh, wonderful thing to learn that at the age of 30 he went to university and he graduated and now he is the mayor of a very big community in Oldham. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase him all and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspire us to gain in our life to, so that we can uh, achieve uh, success in this world as well as in the next world, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, uh, I'd like to request the
President uh, of Anjumani Al Islam Greater Manchester Division, and the Khatib of uh, Baitulaman Masjid Bradford, Hazrat Maulana Abdul Mateen Sahab, uh, to come on the stage, inshallah. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to uh, call upon Hazrat Maulana Salman Ahmad uh, Chaudhry Sahab to uh, deliver his speech. Hazrat Maulana Salman Ahmad Chaudhry Sahab is the blessed grandson of our beloved Murshid Allah Mafuduli Sahab, alayhi. He studied Tafsir and Hadith in Masters and uh, he's been doing khidmah of Allah Mafuduli Sahib including the Hadith Latifiyah Northwest, the Al Qarat Majidiyah, and many other uh, Adjumani Al Islam and many other association that established by Allah Mafuduli Sahib Qibla. And he's, he's looking after this khidmah in Northwest. Currently, he's the principal of Darul Hadith Latifia Northwest, Hazrat Maulana Salman Ahmad Chaudhary Fultuli. Hazrat Maulana Salman Ahmad Chaudhary Fultuli. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah ma ba'd. Wa tu'izu man tashaa wa tu'zillu man tashaa wa biyadika al-khayri naka ala kulli shayin qadir. Inna Allah wa malaykatahu yusalluna ala al-nabiyya yuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad. Kama tuhibbu wa tarda bi anta salli alayhi. Respected brothers in Islam, I'm so happy to see, alhamdulillah, the lovers of Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they gathered in this masjid to celebrate the Mawlid procession 2018. I'm really grateful to our Honorable Mayor and uh, Councillor Dr. Jabid Sahib, and also um, I'm grateful to Dr. Musharraf Sahib, uh, our uh, Honorable Imam and Khatib of Brooklyn Jaya Masjid, Hazrat Maulana Nazrul Islam Sahib. I can see so many ulamas here. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry I can't mention the names of everyone uh, because of uh, uh, you know the, the the chief guest. You know he has another program, uh, and he said maximum he can give us five more minutes. So we are expecting our chief guest to be in the position for a couple of minutes. That's why I would like to thank all the volunteers, those who worked hard to make it a success, especially the Medina Masjid uh, Mutawalli Sab. He worked with us last night, and uh, I can see the president and the secretaries of branches uh, from the from the. Anjumani Al Islam Greater Manchester Division. They have, I think, five or six branches. So all the leaders are here. Jazakumullah Khair for coming in. Alhamdulillah, I called so many brothers and I can see the faces in front of me, those who responded today. May Allah accept it for the sake of uh, him and his beloved Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And may Allah accept this mahfil just as a mahfil of shukr. Uh, we are not showing off to anyone anything. We want Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to send the message of this gathering to his beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We want our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam happy on us. That's why we are here. And may Allah accept all of your sacrifice. I know all of you, you are very busy in weekends, but you made your time. Jazakumullah khair for coming in. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Jazakumullah khair. Jazakumullah khair. Salman Ahmad Chaudhary for the beautiful words of dua. Inshallah. Uh, but, uh, we are going to go out for the procession, as we mention every year, and 